Okay, so I wanted to make a little addendum video for the Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus and Elegoo Neptune 4 Max homing issue that I posted on Sunday. It seems that people think that you can just hashtag YOLO the values and everything's going to work right out of the gate. And I did mention in the video that those are just starting suggestions and that your mileage may vary. And that seems to be the situation that we're running into right now is that people are setting their SGTHRS setting to 110, trying to home it out, and not so desirable things are happening. And I want to kind of go over why that is in this video. And as you can see in the corner, I have the Soval SVO 7 Plus in the picture in picture. Yes, it is a different printer, but it's going to be nearly identical. I do have the fluid interface open for the SVO 7. And the symptoms that you're going to be experiencing, I will replicate on this machine in real time. Before I get started, however, I would like to take a moment to thank Uncle Jesse for mentioning my channel on his most recent video on the Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus and Max. If this is your first time seeing my videos, I hope you enjoy the content and I hope you find it useful. So a couple of things that you want to go over first on your printer is number one, make sure that your belt tension is correct, because if you don't have the proper belt tension, then you may not have enough driving force, if you will, to generate the actual voltage feedback loop for the TMC2209 drivers to trigger the sensorless homing. And this is what all this is about, is that these machines come with sensorless homing. If you look in the left corner next to what kind of resembles Optimus Prime there, you'll see to the right of Optimus Prime that there's a little thing sticking down off of the x-axis gantry rail. And that little thing is actually what the print head is using as the physical end stop. So it's coming in and it's hitting that little piece that sticks down. And that's what's actually triggering the home command. But in order to make sure that the home command is being triggered properly, you have to set the sensitivity and you have to reduce the speed at which it's doing it. Because if it goes too fast, it can still overshoot if it doesn't read that voltage. And if it doesn't read the voltage, it's going to give you that symptom that you're experiencing with the the grinding and the, the noise. So first off, like I said, double check your belt tension, make sure that your belts are, they're not, they don't have to be guitar string tight, but they have to be tight enough to generate that feedback loop. The next thing that you want to check is again, go into the configuration, which is this little icon here, go into the printer.cfg. And when you change the driver underscore SGTHRS, if I get down to it, control F driver underscore so right here, there are a couple things that you want to keep an eye out for. There's the driver SGTHRS, and as I mentioned, there's the homing speed. So the homing speed right now on your machines is probably 80. I've been told that there's been good luck with 20. 20 is kind of slow, but we'll, we'll start off at 20. I'll set that for the Y, and I'll set that for the X. I'll do a save and restart, go back to the main dashboard, and now that the machine's back up, I'll do a home. And you can see right there, we run into an issue with the home not actually taking place. It's not in the right spot. I'm not worried about breaking anything because I'm sending this thing back. So I set the values back to the original settings just to double check them. And we can see that the X goes to the left, hits the stop, the Y goes back, hits the stop, comes over, comes down. So the driver SGTHRS is actually a sensitivity. And the sensitivity starts off at 255 at the highest level and zero at the lowest level. So if you have it set to 255, chances are the motor's not even going to move at all. It's just going to trigger that it's been home. That's why I suggested 110 because 110 is a good starting point. It's somewhere in the middle of the zero versus the 255. And it's just slightly lower than dead center because I figured they were already set to 40 and 70. So start off in the middle and then work your way back. So what you'll want to do is basically just do this. Start off at 110. Save and restart. Go back to home. And then when you home the machine, keep your mouse cursor over on emergency stop. So if you see the thing go crazy, then you can hit the emergency stop and avoid any kind of crashing. So here I'll do a home. And we can see here that this works fine. So the speed and 
the sensitivity do play into one another. You have to be careful with both of them because too slow of a speed can create more parasitic drag on the wheels if you have your wheels too tight or something like that. And the stepper motors will trigger the feedback that they have been homed when they haven't been. So to show you that again, if I go into the configuration, printer CFG, and if I come over to homing speed and I make that back to 20, I'm sure I'll have some sort of an issue. So this is a balancing act. This is something that you have to go through and you have to make changes one at a time and just see what actually works. And you can see right there, it triggers it. I'll hit e-stop, close that out. I'll do a firmware restart, go back into the configuration. So that means that at 20, Again, there's probably too much parasitic drag for the X, but you don't have to do these at the same time. You can change the SGTHRS setting for the X axis. I'll make this, well, I know 95 works at the 50, but at the 20, it may actually require a less sensitive feedback. So at 20, if I make that 40, save and restart. So now I'll home X. And we can see now that that's working, but the 40 might be too low. So I kept my mouse cursor here just in case, and you can see that it homed out okay at 40 and 20. So I'll do a home all just to be sure. Okay, so there we go. Now we have an issue. So I'll go back into printer.cfg. I'm going to lower the... SGTHRS value here, and I'll make this say 50. Save and restart. And it all depends on how fast you want to home the machine out too. So if you want to home the machine out a little bit quicker, it may require less sensitivity than it would if you were trying to home it out slower. So here I'll do X because we know X worked okay. And again, keep your mouse cursor here just in case. Okay, a little bit of a burp, but we can we could turn up the sensitivity a little bit and then the Y now it's going back and it might burp now too okay so that was okay so when you get it to where it homes out and you get a little bit of a burp we'll go into the SGTHRS here and we'll try 50 and see if that works save and restart and we'll do one at a time. X. A little burp. Y. A little burp. Eh, that, that might be okay. If they're too close to the stops, there's going to be a little bit of a burp. So I'll do this. There we go. Move the X and Y. And we'll just try it. We'll do home X. Okay, good. Home Y. And it looks like we got winter chicken dinner. Knowing what I know about this machine, I know I can go to 95 and a homing speed of 50, 95, 50, save and restart. And again, we're very close to home position. So I'll go X and it's going to burp. Y and it'll burp. Okay. That, that's not bad. Bring X over. Bring Y forward, do it again just to be sure. X first, Y second, and then bring it in. So if I wanted to home faster, chances are I would have to make the sensitivity greater. But if I wanted to make it slower, then I'd have to decrease the sensitivity so that it doesn't false trigger if there's any kind of drag on the wheels. So I hope this was informative and helpful because there are people that said, well, when I set these values, the machine goes to the back corner. And the reason why it's going to the back corner is exactly what I showed here is that if I have the sensitivity set too high, what'll happen is the machine's not going to home. It's going to false trigger and it'll think that it's home and it's going to go to where it thinks theoretical table center is being the back right corner because from here 
to the center of the table, it has to go in that direction. So you're getting a false home trigger. You're not getting the machine running in a reverse direction. It just thinks that it's home already. So in that case, decrease the values of the SGTHRS by say 10 or 20 and home out individual axes, home out X first, then home out Y. Then if you get to a point where it's happy, happy, then you can home all. So thank you everybody for watching and thank you again, Uncle Jesse, for the plug on the video. If you liked the video, throw it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have a friend that's having issues with their printer, share it with a friend because sharing is caring. Thank you all for watching and see you again soon.